Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited about this video to be sharing with you all. We are back at the Desert Lily. If you haven't seen my speed build of this house yet, I'll make sure to link it down below in the description. Uh, but yeah, it's a super cute house. I love how it turned out and we are showing you guys the family that lives here. So this is a current household and I'm just super dang excited about it. First off, I just have to talk about how gorgeous this sunset is in this world. We are in Mesa Grand. It is a beautiful, beautiful base game world. Uh, I will have it linked in the description as well. And it's just this beautiful, beautiful world. It has two lakes and like, what? Why is this so gorgeous? I just don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, I will give you guys a little bit of a quick overview of the house. Like I said, you can totally see basically how I built this house from the ground up. And uh, I'll ha I have the video down in the description bar for you guys. So make sure to go check that out if you want to. Um, it's this cute like one level home. And I don't know. I just really love how it turned out. It fits this world perfectly because it is more of a desert type world. And yeah, anyways, this isn't a video about the house. This is a current household video. So we need to talk about this household. <laughs> we are going to start off over here. If you guys saw my last current household video, you would have seen Stella Emery. That's right. She is now here living with her other daughter instead of back at her old house with her son, Colin and her daughter, Colleen. She is now with her daughter, Coletta who uh, is currently pregnant and also just had twins. So <laughs> it is a busy household. There's a lot to update on. Um, yeah, anyway, so we have Stella over here and she is 192 sim days old. It makes my heart so sad because she's getting so close to passing away. Her husband, Harry Emery, actually has already passed away. His urn is here on the lot and he does actually visit sometimes in the evenings, which is super, super sweet. Um, oh, Coletta, you need to have a bachelorette party. Oh, we will do that soon. We will do that soon. Anyways, I'm not going to go fully into Stella. Uh, you guys can see her update back in all the previous current households I've had of her. She has been one of my favorite Sims of all time. And yeah, basically she is the grandma here and um, she's helping out her daughter who is, you know, a mom, a first time mom. We have Coletta here who is actually pregnant and I wasn't exactly ready for her to be pregnant yet. But um, we played this current household during a charity fundraising uh, live stream over on Twitch. And you guys got to control my game for the day. <laughs> oh man that was so much fun we have so many pets now because of that uh but coletta is now also pregnant it was a fun live stream but definitely was a lot of, a lot going on anyways yeah so coletta is pregnant i'm not exactly how many more days she has left in her pregnancy she might possibly have the baby during this little update i'm not sure uh but she is hoping for a girl which is just super sweet super exciting Coletta over here is 26 days, or no, she has 26 days until she ages up into an adult. She is a young adult. She started having kids real early on, especially since she does want to have five kids, which I think we'll see. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> uh, but she is over emotional, a vegetarian, loves the heat, artistic and nurturing. She is a self-employed uh, painter and she's a level six, which is actually, I think, the furthest I've ever gotten in it before which I, I don't know. I just think it's super awesome. Receive flowers. No, uh, no, no, no. She's engaged, Milton. She's engaged, homie. Also, they were having a birthday party for the twins. That's why there's so many people here at the moment. <laughs> it's kind of chaotic, but it's been a good day. It's been a good day for them. Anyways, so yeah, so Coletta is a self-employed artist uh, or painter, and that's what she does for a living. She gets to stay home with her babies and make art, which is really cool because she has this super amazing painting room over here, and it's just perfect for her. It truly is. Okay, she's just like stamping her foot over here because she wants to sit in the rocker. Um, actually, I'm going to have her come over here and talk with this uh, lady, Krista, who's also pregnant at the moment. And so they definitely can uh, bond over that, which I think would be so fun. I've been working on both uh, Coletta and um, Coletta and her fiance. Uh, what's his name? Kane. I've been having them work on, you know, having friendships and stuff. They're still kind of new here to Mesa Grand and... I don't know. I just really want them to have friends and get to know people. 
So I, I love that they're having a party and getting to know so many people. Anyways, so yeah, Coletta is just a mom. She had twin babies and that's kind of it. Uh, a lot of you guys know she is a triplet herself. So multiples do run her, in her family. So it'll be interesting to see if this next baby is babies or if it's just one baby. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping for one because they do not have the room here, but it's okay. Anyways, we're going to move on over to Kane, who you guys don't happen to know as well as you do uh, Coletta. Kane here. Let's see if I can get a closer look at him. Okay, so this is Kane Addison. He's a cutie. He actually generated into uh, the old world of Salmon Woods when Coletta used to live there. They actually met in high school. <laughs> He's just taking a bath, I guess. Uh, and he is one day younger than Coletta. So he has 27 days until he ages up into an adult. He has no sense of humor, so he's not very funny. He's neat, a cat person. He's kind of grumpy, and he's athletic. Uh, his favorite music is dark wave. Favorite food is fish and chips. His favorite color is green, and he's also a Libra. Uh, and he comes from a really nice family, and actually... Um, Stella is friends with his mom, which was always super cool that they like knew each other and stuff. But Kane really wanted to be from the beginning of high school. He wanted to become an athletic star. He wanted to be that famous athlete and he's working on it. He's a level three in the professional sports career. He's getting there. He's just a taller sports coach right now, but that's something. It's something he's providing for his family, you know? <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's what they got going on. He's almost actually at a level 10 for his athletic skill, which is crazy. I don't think I've had a sim this young reach that so fast. Kane and Coletta have always just had a little bit of a rocky relationship. They're compatible, but they also have just such different ideals for their life. Um, like really, <laughs> they're so different in the way that they want to live their life that it does cause conflict sometimes. But right now they're just in the midst of babies and toddlers and becoming parents that they just haven't really focused on their relationship too much yet. They are engaged, they're not married yet. Uh, they just haven't had time for a wedding. So we shall see that maybe hopefully soon, maybe after this baby is born, that they can uh, get married, which I think would be really great for them. Okay, Coletta is getting hungry. I'm going to send her over here to eat some leftovers. Ooh, so many options. Let's get some leftover organic stuffed torsoiki. <laughs> I don't know. I think Stella made it the other day. I love that there's so many people still here. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's kind, of, that's kind of what's going on with Coletta and Kane here. We'll see what happens with them. We'll see what happens, you know? So then we have over here the twins. And they are such freaking cuties they just literally aged up into toddlers and they are so different from each other so we're gonna start over here with cora and she's sleeping oh my goodness look how precious oh, i can't i can't anyway so cora she obviously just aged up so she has a while until she'll become a kid uh she's a leo uh, her favorite music is hip-hop. She likes fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, which, oof, girl, same. And uh, loves the color green like her dad. And she's actually good and clumsy. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how she develops and, like, what her personality becomes more like. Um, but she has dark brown hair, and I think she has green eyes. I'm not 100% sure. We can see when she wakes up. Oh, what? No, why is everyone trying to give Kane flowers? Oh, ooh, that looks a little... Suspicious. Let's have uh, Kane come eat this leftover birthday cake. This guy, whoever his name is, he just left, I think. He thought Coletta was hot, but he just now realized it. Uh, and then we have Carson. He is such a cutie. And he actually has Tegan, so Coletta's grandmother's hair color. So he has like this reddish orange hair color. I'm going to turn the light on in here so you can see real quick. He is so precious. And I can't remember if he has green eyes or... Let's see, both of his parents have green eyes. It looks like, yeah, it looks like he has green eyes, but he has Tegan's hair color. I love that the genetics got passed down, and I truly did not think that he was going to be a little redhead. I, I thought he was going to maybe either have dark hair, like his sister, or I don't know. <laughs> she starts picking her nose. Yes, so Cora has uh, green eyes as well. So cute. So freaking cute. Anyway, so that's kind of what's going on with the family. They have 20 million pets because of the live stream. They already started out with three puppies that they got in France on a little trip that they took. Um, it's when they got engaged was in France. And so they got Viola, Fleur, and Lady. Oh my goodness. I'm a cat. Homie, please. Kane, get mad at your cat, please. Get mad at your cat. Uh, reinforcement. Scolds for being destructive. 
This is our new house. <laughs> I'm a cat was adopted during the live stream and named during the live stream. And then we also have Carrie Emery, who's this cute little kitten, and she was adopted during the live stream. And then they also got a bird named, what did we name the bird? Oh, it's a gray parrot, I think. A uh, pepper. Oh, so cute. I actually really love pepper. Oh, I love pepper so much. And then we also got a turtle, which I don't know where the turtle went. Oh, right here. Over here is the turtle. And what's the turtle's name again? Kale. So we have Pepper and Kale. And yeah, so many pets. So many pets to take care of. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, it was a lot of fun, that, that live stream. And if you guys want to follow over on Twitch, I do live stream every weekend. So feel free to join us on there. We play Current Households almost every weekend. Uh, we also have like a 100 Baby Challenge going on in The Sims 2 at the moment, which is so much fun. Okay, so it is actually almost 6 in the morning. The kids, both of the twins woke up super early <laughs> and poor Coletta came and got them since Kane I think like I said I think he has work today yeah he does so he did need to get some rest and Stella was still sleeping which is totally fine I'm a cat is still literally destroyed our house oh my goodness this cat um but yeah so we're gonna get the kids all all dressed for the day oh such a sweet mom Oh, I love them so much. Anyways, let's get Cora dressed. That way you guys can see her maybe a little bit better. Let's put her in her second everyday wear. And, um, oh, I love this dress. Oh, my goodness. So freaking sweet. Oh, I love them so much. And it looks like Stella is actually awake. I was kind of sad because Harry didn't uh, visit last night, which he had been. He'd been visiting us, like, every night since uh, Stella moved in. But... Anyways, it's totally fine. I really can't tell, like, who each of the kids look like. They, they're they just good mixes of both of, their, of both of their parents, which I just love absolutely so much. Uh, anyway, so the plan for today, I really am hoping that this baby will arrive. I think it would be so amazing. Oh, she wants to see a ghost. Oh, she wants, um, she wants Harry to visit. Stop, that's so sweet. Um, she wants to get a cat condo. I don't think we have room. I'm kind of tempted to put I'm a cat up for adoption. Mostly because he's driving me crazy. <laughs> he's destroying everything in this house. Um, but then I feel too bad. I feel too bad. Maybe they have a friend they can give I'm a cat to. Actually, that's kind of a good idea. Okay, so it looks like Kane is up getting ready for the day. Like I said, he does have work in six hours. So not till this afternoon, which is nice. Like, it's nice having Stella here to help out Coletta when Kane is gone at work. It just, it's so nice. <laughs> and I don't know why, like, I don't do that more often and have, you know, um, have the, um, like, grandparents move in with the, with the kids, you know? I'm trying to figure out what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to have Coletta come out here. It's now springtime. It's been winter and snowing for, like, ever. But, like, look at this view of the lake that they have. Seriously, freaking gorgeous. So I'm going to have Coletta come out here, get some sun. And she's feeling real sleepy because she was up early with the with the twins. So she's going to rest and take it easy. And it looks like Stella actually wants to get a beekeeping box, which I think is so cool. They do have some plants. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I did not realize they had an apple tree growing in the garage. Okay. We probably should move this on out. I didn't landscape for an apple tree out here. Um, I guess right here. <laughs> we now have an apple tree and then I totally did not realize that that was growing out in the garage so we probably should move these planter bowls out to the sunshine or can we not we'll just move them out here I think would be great um they just have a few plants that they were working on uh Coletta and Stella love to garden so uh since it was winter time they needed some plants to take care of but I think I'll send uh, Stella out here to come tend this garden and we'll also get her a beekeeping box. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna have Stella come out here. I have no clue how to do this. I think she has to smoke the box, feed the bees. I think she has to smoke it again and then clean it. I don't know, I haven't done much with beekeeping. I truly haven't. Okay, so Kane, oh, he's getting a phone call. Okay, he's gonna talk with his, with Colin, which I think he's his friend. Yeah, they're coworkers and friends. I love that they're actually really, they're like best friends. No, good friends. Okay, they're good friends. I love that, though. I didn't realize Kane had such a good friend so, like, so quickly. Why is she such a cutie? Why is she such a cutie? I can't deal. I can't deal. She's perfection. Look at her. 
I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. Okay, awesome. She wants to buy a dartboard. We probably won't do that. She wants to buy a TV. They don't have a TV here. Coletta is very much more like a naturalist and not really into technology that much. So they try to keep technology to a minimum here, which is fine. It's fine. Where is Cora? Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Kane's rocking her. She does look quite a bit like Kane, which I love. I mean, he's a cutie as well. He's not my favorite. He's not my favorite. Could Coletta do better? Probably. <laughs> Probably. But for now, their relationship works and, and they're doing good, you know? Okay, so poor Coletta here is having an aching back. And I think since she is just sitting here reading, we're going to send her to the spa. I think she deserves it. She needs a little bit of a break, especially before this new baby comes, which hopefully, like I said, will be today. It would be super, super amazing. Um... Let me see. Where is the spa? As you guys can see, Mesa Grand is a huge world. It is base game compatible and it does come populated, which I get asked all the time. Is this world populated? Is this world populated? And most of the time they're not like a lot of the worlds I use are not. Oh, here's the spa. Um, oh, she should go with Stella. Well, no, Kane has work. Never mind. Um, she's going to get a massage. They only have 2000 simoleons. So she's just going to go get a just a relaxing Swedish massage. Keep it kind of simple. It's slightly expensive for them, but it'll be fine. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, anyways, and then Stella can help out with the kids as well because she loves them so much. So she loves doing that. Look at Kane being such a good dad. Oh no. Oh, Coletta took her to the spa <laughs> with a stinky diaper. That's not very relaxing, girl. Maybe they have, they have a daycare. Maybe they just have like a little daycare center. Or something. Is she going to so Okay, cool. I didn't know you could take your babies with you to the spa. She does have a stinky diaper, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Will someone take care of Cora or no? <laughs> I, I guess not. Probably not. Okay. You can see the stench just like float in there. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> it's over here now. Okay, so it looks like Colette is feeling much better after that massage. Let's get the diaper changed. Poor Cora. And um, let's get her home. Let's get home. Poor thing. <laughs> but at least Colette is feeling a lot more relaxed and relaxed and pregnant. Classic. Stella's in such a great mood. I love that she's just at this point in her life that she's just like so happy and so chill and like she just can help out with everything. Not that I want to make her like the maid or anything, but I think it's really helped like their relationship. Oh, maybe not. They're still working on it you know um but yeah maybe we should have them talk you know it looks like we do need to work on the relationship just a little bit it does look like cora is tired though so let's go put cora down and then they can have some mother daughter time which would be the sweetest little thing ever so i'm gonna have coletta clean up dinner and stella's gonna go put cora down let's ask about her day let's ask stella how how did the kids do for you how was it well i guess we had one of the kids but still <laughs> and let's chat and i don't know i just really want to increase the relationship um maybe feel tummy oh that'd be so sweet oh stop i love them they're the cutest um let's applaud her vegetarianism since they're both vegetarians and oh let's she's gonna boast about grandchildren she would stella would she loves her grandchildren which Mm, how many does she have at this point? I think she has three or four from her. Like she has two here and then one other, no, two other grandkids. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. She has four grandchildren. I love it so much. I wish, I wish Stella could go and live with all of her kids and see all the grandchildren all the time. <laughs> Makes me sad that they can't do that. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like obsessing over this right now. It's just too cute. But Stella is pretty, not Stella, Coletta is pretty tired. So we're going to send her to bed. Stella is not too bad, but I am going to send her to the bathroom. No, you're not going to go to the rocking chair, your favorite. Oh my gosh, is the cat, I'm a cat. Would you stop playing in the toilet? Goodness. Kane actually wants to go to a dive bar. It is a Monday night, but like, should he? Should we? Let's see if we can find a bar. Okay, so we made it here to the Red Velvet Lounge and 
it looks like it's kind of popular right now. Uh, let's see if we can come get a drink and he's gonna get a llama head. <laughs> and we have this lady here, Mary, I think is her name. Mary Taylor, she's just playing that guitar. Maybe he'll give her a tip or something. Whoops. But she is just rocking it. I love that she matches the lounge too. <laughs> Um, and looks like, oh, John showed up, um, some paparazzi. John is a coworker, I think. Uh, so he's gonna come over here and discuss work with him. And I don't know, he's just having a little bit of a night out. He is young still. He's kind of a young dad. So I feel like he kind of missed that time after high school. You know, he was in a relationship already. He didn't get to be young and single and have a lot of fun. <laughs> he didn't get to go and party it up at college. So you know, he's gonna come over here and talk with John. I think I tried to invite Colin over, but I don't know if Colin's going to show up or not. Um, but they'll hang out. They're coworkers, and it doesn't hurt. They're good friends as well. So maybe you can get to know John a little bit better would be nice. Have a drink after a stressful day of work and relax a bit. Although it does look like the kids are getting kind of grumpy. So hopefully Stella will be able to help with that since Kane is not home yet. He looks so young. I feel like we might need to give him some facial hair, give him a little bit more of a dad look going on because <laughs> he still looks really young. Um, and he still is pretty young, honestly. Oh goodness, that bartender, Alan, making the drinks, spills sorrows, interesting. Let's come over here. He's gonna come play some foosball with John and talk a bit with him and then he's probably gonna head on home nothing too crazy here it's not that busy here um, but it is a, a monday night or a tuesday morning so kind of makes sense that it wouldn't be too crazy but you know like i said unwinding with you know co-workers which is always nice to do so we have uh carson here he is upset let's come over here i think he's hungry yeah he's hungry so we're gonna have stella take care of him and maybe snuggle him so sweet and Cora is still sleeping which is great uh, but she's probably going to be waking up here in a second so let's get Carson situated so then that way we can help out with Cora all that good stuff and I think Kane should be home yeah he is I'm gonna send him just straight to bed you know he's had a few drinks <laughs> he's probably pretty tired so I'm gonna send him straight to bed Look how happy he is. He's like, I am so happy. I got my bottle. <laughs> He's so cute. I love this family. I do. Let's give her a bottle. And like I said, Stella's kind of hungry herself. So she's going to whip up some, uh, you know, something nice. Some some dessert. Ooh, cinnamon rolls. Heck yes. She's going to whip up some cinnamon rolls, you know, late at night. Classic midnight baking, right? <laughs> like grandmas do like grandmas do but yeah since the kids are up she's up might as well and um coletta is resting poor thing has to pee it's middle of the night actually oh no she's waking up anyways she's like i have to pee <laughs> i really want cinnamon rolls now and look at coletta is hungry so perfect timing oh my gosh those cinnamon rolls look amazing oof outstanding quality yeah i bet those look delicious my goodness oh goodness she is about to pop i swear she is getting so big oh so sweet oh it's fleurs and Vi viola's birthday today which also should be lady's birthday so we'll have to just age her up oh my goodness i'm a cat back at it again oh my gosh the baby is coming oh my goodness it was the cinnamon roll it was the cinnamon roll my goodness also cora is sitting in her mother's water okay i think coletta would have the baby at home so we're gonna let her just labor here and um we probably should wake everyone up kane buddy you're gonna need to come wake up and mop up this puddle that everyone is walking through <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Guys, I am so excited. I'm excited to see if it's multiples or one baby or triplets. Oh my gosh, if it was triplets, I swear my life. I don't know where they would put the babies. I don't know where they would put the babies. My goodness, it takes so much longer when, when they're at home than when they go to the hospital, I swear. 
No one's even watching the twins. Everyone's like just freaking out. The kids are just watching themselves in the playroom. I love it. <gasps> Wait. Oh my gosh. Krista and Colin just had a baby girl named Shauna. That is so sweet. So they just had their baby like right at the same time as Coletta having her baby. All oh, their babies are going to be like friends. We have to make that happen. We have to make it happen, right? <gasps> oh my goodness. It's a baby boy. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Okay. I have to come up with a name, you guys. I need to I need to figure out a name. I'm too excited now. Okay. So I came up with a name. And um, I remembered that in uh, one of our live streams when Coletta was pregnant, uh, someone was like, oh, you should name the baby if it's a boy. Name them Harry after her father, her late father that passed away. And I love the name Harry. I just don't want to have another Harry in game. So we're going to go with the name Henry, which is just is like so classic and so cute and just oh Henry and we have Cora and Carson and I just think it's super cute. So we have Henry Addison and I love that. I feel like so freaking it's so cute. I love it. Okay. So traits. I'm gonna randomize it. <sighs> Loves the heat and friendly. Okay. I like that because he lives in a hot climate. Friendly because it's very like it's not determining his life too much yet. He's just friendly. He's a nice guy. Is it just the one? Is it just the one? Please tell me it's just the one. <laughs> oh, the sparkles. That's why I do love having them. He's all scowling. <laughs> Is it just the one? Yes. Heck yes. Guys, I'm so happy. I was really worried they were going to have so many babies. Look at Henry. He is precious. My goodness. So we need to get him like an area so he can can sleep somewhere. So we're probably just going to have him stay in the parents' bedroom until he's a toddler. Um, probably by then Stella should have passed away. So then we'll have another bedroom open. Okay, so I made like a little nursery corner, baby corner. So we have this little changing pad and dresser right here for the baby's clothes or for Henry's clothes. And then we also have this little side co-sleeper thing or whatever so the baby can sleep in there. And I actually want to test out, I actually, I've never tr tested this out before uh, since it is new in my game. So we're going to go see if it should work. It should work, right? But I love that so much. Uh, the, like I said, the stuff is from Sketchbook Pixels. And I will have it linked in the description. So you guys can go check out their website. Uh, they, they make amazing stuff. Oh, no. He just disappeared. Oh, no. Where'd the baby go? <laughs> no. <laughs> Where did he go? Henry. Henry. Where are you? Oh my goodness. We lost our baby. Henry? Henry? <laughs> Can she just like... Okay. We can still get to him. He's not sitting there, but that's okay. It works. They don't have much space, so it really works. Anyways, fam. I think I am going to leave you guys here. Seriously, love this family so much. If you want to know more about this family, uh, if this was your first time seeing them and you're kind of confused, I definitely recommend checking out uh, my previous current households. Uh, I have a whole playlist of them and I'll have it linked in the description, of course. Uh, so you guys can go and check them out. Also, if you want to download this house and use it in your game, I have that video linked as well. But anyways, Thank you so much for being super, super amazing and for hanging out with me today. And uh, I will hopefully have more updates and current households coming very, very soon. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not already subscribed and you would like to be, make sure to click that button as well. Also, if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a video, make sure to hit that bell. Anyways, thank you again. I appreciate you all so freaking much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Thank you.